Hi there, I'm Spooky and welcome to another Witcher 3 episode. Now we are finally, finally heading to Skellige. How exciting. Now we have done quite a bit of quests in both Velen and Novigrad and with some of them we just can't proceed because we need to progress further in the story. So as we get closer to the end of the main story before we do the DLCs and everything, I will definitely revisit back to Velen and Novigrad so we can finish off what we had left as well as do some contracts and hunt down the Witcher armors. But for now, let's go to Skellige and find Ciri. Who's captain of this ship? Looking at her. I, her. That's right. I, a woman, am captain. Shocking as shit, I know. Just take me to Skellige, that's all I care about. Need to get to Skellige. Not on this boat, you won't. Why? Very well. The islanders live off plunder in the seas. Not willing to risk that. Uh, have you ever been there? Ever sailed there? Listen, the islanders attack all ships. When they hate someone, Nilfgaard, for instance, they attack him more. But truth be told, not much more. Lord did me once. Expect they wanted to see if I had captain's bollocks. That spot of fun gave me enough skelliger for a lifetime. Okay. I guess not. All right, next. Hmm. So looking for someone to take us to Skellige is already a challenge on its own. I see. All right. What about this one? Where is the captain here? The witch hunter. Okay. Um. Seaman, seaman, seaman. Where is the captain, though? There's no captain here. Okay, whatever. Someone here? Ramen supper, I never do. Ramen supper, I never do. Maybe they're gone for the day. There is no captain here. Okay, um, let's go see the other one. Are you captain? No. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Captain here. There you are. You captain of this tub? What's it to you? Um, please take me to Skellige. <laughs> I'm Skellige bound. Need to get there. Start swimming. Islanders, the black ones, all attackers in those waters. No one sails the route these days. Come on. Clans are ready to deal. Leave you alone if you do. Someone's done it. Gotta have. Not likely. Except maybe that daft bastard Wolverstun from the Atropos. A liar, a thief, and a bugger, that one. He might have parlayed with the sea swine. Hmm. Where can I find him? In a pigsty most times. Others, the golden sturgeon. As for Flask, everyone knows him. Okay, well, I guess that's where that missing captain is. No wonder. Let's go to the golden sturgeon. Yeah, no wonder there was no one there. I'm like, where is he? I guess he's just drinking. A drunk, a drunk captain is a brave captain. <laughs> uh, where is the entrance? Oops, excuse me, ladies. You, Wolverston, captain of the Atropos. So you wanna know if I'm Atropos, captain of the Wolverston? No fucking clue, mate. <laughs> I need to get to Skellige. My Atropos and me. Need you to sail for our skellig, carrying grain, but that's our shush. Got any coin? A thousand gold. <sighs> okay, I guess that's a lot. Here, that enough? 
like a bones. When do we sail? Not sure you're ready. You can barely stand. Know this, stranger. Captain Wolverston never sails so back. The sea goes one way, Wolverston the other. Makes the rocking bearable. So, ready to set sail? Sure, I mean, what can go wrong, right? <laughs> Sure, sure, more more alcohol. <laughs> Ooh, beautiful view, look at that. His swords very beautiful some replicas online they're not cheap <laughs> oh my god okay um. perfect are those pirates they don't look like nymph guardians oh yep pirates Sure, using some fire on the boat, wooden boat, is a good idea. Ouch! Hey! Hey, leave me alone! Oh my god. Yikes. Okay, two down, three. Next. Cool music, though. Oh, God. Well, at least we're alive. <laughs> Forget it. I feel for him. <laughs> oh, one hell of a journey. <gasps> a doggy. Back off or I'll kill you. I'm not a fear to die. <laughs> Rob corpses much? Rob every corpse that washes up on shore. Taken from a corpse ain't theft. I'm a man of the isles. I don't reap. I don't sow. The waves bring me my harvest. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah. Thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. What about you? What do you seek in Skellige, eh? Agreed to meet a sorceress here. Yennefer of Vengerberg. She's supposed to be on Horn Skellig. There's a witch at Kertrolda. Croc's guest. Could be the one you're meeting. <laughs> Don't like her. That scorn I hear in your voice. You've good ears. Folks say this witch has got Croc wrapped around her finger. Orders everyone about. Word is she's vicious at it, but a hag's a hag. What's Crack's guest look like? Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? If not for her tits, you'd think she was a beached orca. Fact is, even those who see her for a wench would gladly push her out to sea, tits and all. Oh my god. I'm gonna slap him. Yep. What's your name? Stainbrim. Well, Stangrim, I don't like you. In fact, I feel like slapping you. Go ahead, Drifter. You try. That's that's right. Beat him up. <laughs> Had enough. Best finish me now, cause you'll be fucked once I catch my breath. Sure. It was a good fight. 
That's enough for now. Know the way to Kertrolda? I expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port site today. Your sorceress ought to be there too. Thanks. So long. Yeah, thanks. I thought I beat him up because I was angry. <laughs> What's this? Okay. Well, looks like our horse is here too. Let's go. Let's go to port near Kertrolde. Run, Roach. Such beautiful nature. I really love the music in Skelliger. And it also looks very cold. But look at those mountains, those pine trees, the forest, so beautiful. You know, if there was like one game I would love to live in, it would be definitely Witcher 3. Well, Witcher Universe. Wouldn't like the the monsters. Would be nice if I was like a a Witcher or a sorceress, you know, so I could at least fight these monsters. But otherwise, wow. All right, we made it. Let's see. Where are we? Oh, we fell into the water. Are they all standing here, of course? Oh, someone died, I guess. Not do this, child. I know, but I want to. This madness. Such a young lass. Erna should be the one going. They shared a bed long Silence. Over. It is her decision. Oh, she's gonna die with him? Hmm. You look beautiful. Thank you. Nice to see you again. The eulogy. King Bran of Clan Twirsech has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side and face the sea together. 
That will be a good day. <laughs> you smell wonderful. <laughs> now nah, let's talk about Bran. <laughs> you knew Bran? Yes. He was well respected. Unlike his wife. Skellige is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates of Caer Troll stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. Hmm. Uh, yeah, go, go to the wake with me, I guess. Wait until you hear that Geralt is... Back with Triss. <laughs> Come to the wake with me. Gladly. Feasts in Skellige, so predictable. Slobbering drunks, brazen boasting, and the inevitable rows that result. Yeah, nothing like the banquets mages attend. Remember the one on Thanet? You were there. How could I forget? I also remember excruciatingly well what happened after the banquet. Hmm, are you reading my mind? Reading my mind again? Hmm, what's more, I like what I see. Did you learn anything in Velen? Mm, yes. Velen, awful place. Somehow Ciri wound up at the castle of the local ruler, a baron, self-proclaimed. This was after she was injured. Injured? Was it serious? Don't think so. Must have recovered because this baron sent her on to Novigrad. Think she was looking for you at the time. These witches Ciri came across, she was lucky to escape them. Witches? Creatures more like. Can't say exactly what they are, but they're dangerous. Very. Also ran into an old friend of ours in Velen, Kira. What on earth is Kira Metz doing in that wasteland? Hiding from witch hunters. Listen, she told me an elven mage had been there looking for Ciri. Good. You'll need to tell me more when we have some time. Been to Novigrad. Ciri was there, looking for a way to lift some curse. She's not there anymore. You're certain? Heard it from Dandelion, with no embellishments. Do you know any more about this curse? Not much. Siri ran into some trouble, never finished what she went there to do. I recovered a phylactery. She was looking for a way to enchant it. I'll look at it later. Hmm. How about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Art Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Syria was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. Ermion is chief druid here. Ermion's head of the Skellige Circle? Haven't seen him since... Um... Since Syria was a little girl. I doubt he'll do you any favors, not even for old time's sake. Why won't you... Why won't the lich examine the zone? That's very suspicious. So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. White Wolf! Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake, and I'll not accept any excuses. I have an important matter to discuss with you. I shall wear black and white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. <laughs> Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. 
And just like Krak, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go. Choose something. In the meantime, I've something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. Well, she's not wrong. You gotta show some respect by dressing appropriately. It's it's a quite an important occasion, so... As much as Geralt hates it, and I know he's not the most people person, but... Oh. Gotta do that. What do you want? Sorry to trouble you, but I really have no choice. What happened? What is it? Our ship was wrecked against the rocky shore June and the last storm. I've lost everything. How am I supposed to help? I haven't even got the coin for the journey home, and with each day's delay, I draw closer to bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. Might have guessed you'd come around to coin. So, need a loan? Or is it just alms you're after? I shall pay you back every last copper, I swear it. You need only call on me at my address in Novigrad. Fine, let's help the man. Well, if we ever see him again, if he doesn't give us the money, we'll beat him up. It's only one fifth. Fine, I'll help you. I visit Novigrad often enough. Might stop by, see how business is going. Thank you. You find me in the port district. My name's Johan Bonner. See you later then. Remember, John, we pull, we put trust into you. You better don't betray Witcher. And just like that, all my money are going away. Oh wait, go to Yennefer rooms. Hold on. We gotta put our clothes, our fancy clothes on, or Yennefer is gonna kill us. <laughs> uh. Where is her stuff? There we are. This has got to be Yen's room. She always did like space and luxury. Okay, let's see. We can stash some things. Also need to sell some stuff. What is this? I'll stash this. Some of my old fancy clothes. And the other ones were sell. Okay, where'd she put the fancy stuff? Her megascope? Guess she never goes anywhere without it. As Philippa Eilhart said, megascopes and toothbrushes. Deeply personal possessions. <laughs> Josiah de Vries, the poison source, still turns to it for inspiration. No one is born a mage. We still know too little about genetics and the mechanisms of heredity. We devote too little time and resources to this research. Sadly, we still conduct trials in the inheritance of magic ability using, let us say, natural methods. The results of these pseudo-experiments far too often can be seen in the gutters of our cities and bagging outside our temple walls. Far too often, we see and encounter brain-dead and moronic women, women covered in their own spittle and passing themselves as prophetesses, seers, village diviners, and miracle workers, cretins with brains degenerated by the uncontrolled power they inherited. These simpletons and fools can themselves breed, can pass on their abilities, and continue the degeneration. De is anyone capable of foreseeing or defining what the last link in such a chain will look like? Most of us mages lose the ability to procreate as a result of changes and disruptions to the functioning of our pituitary glands. Others, sorceresses most often, mature into their magic powers with gonads intact. They can conceive and give birth and have the audacity to consider that good fortune a blessing. Yet I repeat, no one is born a mage. And no one should be. Aware of the gravity of what I write, I provide an answer to the question posed at the summit of Sedaris. I answer with every certitude. Each of us must decide what she wants to be, a sorceress or a mother. Interesting take. Alright. Let's get the blue ones, I guess. 
should be nice. So, my game just crashed after I tried putting on the fancy robes. <laughs> just not something I'd ever wear. But what don't we do for our... Hmm. Who exactly is she to me? Well, now she's not your lover anymore. Remember, you are with Triss. Alright, let's go. Oh, some stuff here. No idea how she managed to bring so much clothing. Must have hired out a galleon. As usual, black and white. It's not that much clothing, Geralt. You know nothing. Hmm. The stuffed unicorn. She fixed it. <laughs> the unicorn, oh god. <laughs> Glamour. Scent of lilac and gooseberries, even with the lid on. Taste hasn't changed. Why would you eat it, Geralt? He's like, mm, let me try out this perfume taste. What are you looking at? Totally appropriate. Alright. Bran was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's troubles very much derive from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. Mm, hi, I'm Geralt. <laughs> I'm Geralt, a witcher. Berna, Queen of Skellige. I'm glad we've met. But you must forgive me. Judy calls. I like her dress, very pretty. Why am I not surprised? Oh, Geralt. Geralt, what is that you're wearing? <laughs> Didn't want to detract from your beauty. A man at a woman's side is an accessory. He should enhance her beauty. But I thank you for the compliment. <laughs> it was it was in her trunk. I thought this was a <laughs> Is it really that bad? It looks fine to me. Maybe it is to call <laughs> Oh my god. <sighs> Don't like funerals. Don't like feasts. I know. You also dislike underdone meat and being teleported. But sometimes we must overcome our disgusts and prevail. Like she said to something. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's go find crown. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him, we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. Oh my god. <laughs> like, that's literally what she said. Choose something. She brought stuff. Why did she bring this if she didn't want him to wear this? There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Hmm? Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Because we're too lazy to shave, that's why. Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. <laughs> oh my god. Nice to meet you too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. They come to see the claimants to the crown. We wanted to talk to Croc on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Follow me, please. They've seated us here. I asked them to. Wanted to meet the notorious Witcher, Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your feast mates. Allow me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand, Blue Boy Lugus, Madman Lugus' firstborn, and choking down a stockfish over there is Otric on Hindar. Pleasant company. Hmm. Uh, let's not ask her name because I feel like. <laughs> That would be mean. Seems they set us with the sons of Jarls exclusively. Ceres on Crate is the daughter of a Jarl, Geralt. 
Jarl's daughters are in no way inferior to their sons. Do you know every last one of them dreams of being Bran's successor? Look at him. Likely not. Darius is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Crack about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now you mention him, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you're in. If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Sure, let's do it. Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. So no cheating. Here I was ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go. So no cheating. Oops. Can I even win without cheating? We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first wins. I'm ready. Okay, this You'll start when I sound the horn. Should be easy, right? Oh, we're racing without horses. Okay. Oh boy. I'm sure Witcher will win. I mean, Witcher's some more stamina, right? Come on, get old, run. And we have the appropriate outfit. <laughs> nice and non constricting. Oh my god, run! If I had to do this, I would lose. I would probably like run for. 30, maybe not even 30 seconds. 10 seconds and forget about it. Come on, get out. Almost there. I mean, it's hard to compete with the Witcher. So I don't think she had a chance, honestly. I won, but only by a hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the week. Let's. I mean, even man can barely compete with Geralt. See the wakes in Most full swing. Most can't. Lost so. sight of you. Who won? I lost. I lost to a Witcher Sparrowhawk. That would likely happen to any of us. Yeah, he's great. Enough of the nather and let's drink. Fine, let's give the way <laughs> to Ceres. Pass the mead and a tankard for the man. To Bran. He want for nothing in the world beyond. To my beautiful companion. <laughs> You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. Gara's like, and I was just getting started! I was just getting started. Oh my god, I have four points available. I need to use them. Wait, how do I get... Oh, I got lost. Oh my god, look at this table! The baked pig. Okay, let's look at the food, because I love this. I love the food tables. The medieval food tables are just like... Such an inspiration. I've got fish. Lots of fish. Well, it's a... Uh, Island surrounded by the sea. Apples, I don't know what that is. I think it's some sort of beet soup over there. It looks like they're all like the same. Bread cheese, some beet soup, fish. 
Lots of fish. That guy is asleep. Well, let's see what else we can spot here. Some grapes. Probably imported it, because it's too cold for the grapes to... to, um... grow here. Oh, a bunch of sausage. Oh, I love this. Delicious, delicious. Okay, let's go. Yenfer's probably waiting already. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Jarl Dona and Hinder, and Jarl Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen? He's a common goat fucker. <laughs> Call me a goat fucker <laughs> one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. <laughs> Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Give me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you <laughs> cunt. <laughs> oh my god, a a a! Calm down, people. Calm that down. That skeleton's called a truce for feasts. I know the hallowed customs, but Lugos ought to know that I'll not let him raid my Hindus Fial bear. You don't scare anyone, Donor. I'll be boy soon to plow your priestesses, drink from your tankard, and shit on your table. Be sure to leave a candle lit for me. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the black ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing. Total war with the Empire is another. Awfully melty, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Okay, this guy is gonna get punched. <laughs> you know what, Lugos? Just realized I don't give a damn about your hallowed rules of hospitality. Finally, some time first. And here I was ready to puke from all the boredom. Time Come to... on, freak. Show us what you're made Time of. Time to beat up. Move the benches. There's to be some gob slapping. Defending ladies on... <gasps> oh, my God. Can I even beat her? <laughs> Maybe I can. He's level 30. Oh my god. No one warned me about this. Come on. I, well, I got him cornered. Oh, good, right? I feel like he's gonna punch me once and I'm done for. Don't give him opening. Get him. Come on. Come on. Where is he? Whew. Had enough. Got me good. That were quite a wallop. Still seeing spots, room, rocking like a leaky tub in a hurricane. We'll call it even then, as soon as you apologize to the lady. <laughs> Don't hold it against me, my lady. It's my deep conviction sorceresses are needed. Deeply so. No offense taken. Forget about it. That I like. And the knocking. It's what men do. Give me your poor what you're. <laughs> Let me squeeze. That's a worthy one. This is how men bond with fists. Witcher, <laughs> have a drink with me. Proof there's no hard feelings. And visit me at times, I insist. Yaren's been jabbering about bringing in a witcher for that haunted lighthouse. Do me a favor. Meet him for an ale in the tavern near Arenbjorn. Then you put a short jaunt to find me so as we can knock back something stronger. Here's to our next. <laughs> Geralt, I am not gonna plan. I'm not gonna drink in this event. Also, Geralt, <laughs> gladly. <laughs> sure, I'll knock one back with you, Lugos. Nothing wrong with having a drink in good company. I remind you we've important matters to discuss later. Matters that require a clear mind. I remember. <laughs> drink like you fight, and we're in for a good time. Tabran! Oh, I bet he in the first. madman Lugos and his madness. Yeah, the first fist. <laughs> oh. Forgive us. We should mingle. Talk to some of the other guests. <laughs> oh my god. What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been snooping. 
Sure, why not? Take it Ermion won't be there. That's right. And what's the purpose of this visit? We're looking for an object. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it. Okay. Why not? Yeah, let's... No. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it you'll decide when. Correct. Oh, let me take the water. <laughs> we had enough, enough drinks. The girl's like, are you re like... Is he really gonna stop at the every everything to to loot? I think Yennefer's he's probably so annoyed with us. <laughs> She's already probably annoyed with the uh, uh with you know, drinking and his outfit. The last wish, what is this? Who wrote it this? Uh oh it was what's his name? Yaskir. It's okay, we'll we'll read that later. Not sure I'll take that. Footsteps. Let's steal everything. <laughs> Shh. Guards. Hide behind the tapestry. Sparrow's chip. While Star leaves. Sure. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws call. Goldfinches warble, and cranes whoop. Brass peacocks screech. Hawks scream, larks trill, and doves they coo. That's all of them. Interesting. What about nightingales? All right, nightingales croon. Very interesting conversation. <laughs> Very intellectual. <laughs> oh boy. Right, let's keep going. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> very fun, very fun. Hey, there's something outside or what? No, never mind. Okay, I won't be stealing any this more food. Be tough to open. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermian spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic aura. Come, there's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. But then the spies know we're here. Wouldn't they like? Seen uglier sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia, are you romantic? <laughs> Wouldn't they like know like like? tell on us or something maybe we should have killed the ravens or something. oh well well i i trust she knows what we're doing especially a druid must be a real nature lover had one at care more and please what's with these taxidermic animals looks alive Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Uh. A basin of water. For teleprojection, a reflection of Ermion appears on the surface. Supplicants speak to it. Okay. Why can't I examine this beer? Oh. Loose an arrow if you saw that in the woods. Hmm, I don't really see any hold on, there's a door here. Ah. Are you alright? Cut myself. The door is locked. The animals, they're alive. Yen, watch out. Oh Monsters. my gosh. Feel them coming closer. They're That's everywhere. That's one less. Oh my goodness. Ah! Do you think he's tripping or Strange. something? Smells of 
Mushrooms in here. Oh god, ouch. Strong bear. Uh. Oh my god, more bears. Why is he? Why is she sound so repetitive? Like she's not real. Um. Uh. Oh. Uh oh. Get out. Are you okay? What's happening? You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermian's animals, sword flailing. I had to calm you. <laughs> must have looked funny. <laughs> mm, must have looked strange. Your years of vigorous training at Kaer Morn finally paid off. Bested nearly all the stuffed beasts in here. Please. <laughs> Fine. We've passed the trial of taxidermy. The door stands open. The <laughs> trial of taxidermy. Let's go inside, Geralt. Oh my god, look at what he did. He really cut them all off. Had one at Care Morin. Please. I thought he was gonna make a comment about his um little things he did. <laughs> it's funny though. <laughs> ah, this episode has been hilarious so far. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. Okay. Sure. Of course, no one would be suspicious seeing. The cut down animals. We must search it thoroughly. The mask of Erberos must be here. Is that how you pronounce Uroboros? Hmm. Wondrous world of insectoids. Ritual plants. Ah, what do you know? Raymond Marlove. A biography enhanced. Alright, what is this? Ermian's correspondence. Letter bearing Ermian's seal to the druids warns them about you. Brother Druids, be forewarned that a sorceress has arrived on Art Skellig. Her name is Yennefer and she hails from Bergen Vengerberg. I know you are immune to feminine vials and will not let a well-draped skirt muddle your reasoning. Nevertheless, I warn you not to be taken in by her intelligence and refinement. I know who Yennefer is. I do not, however, know the true goal of her stay in Skellige. I see no point in asking her this question directly, for Yennefer is known for her cunning and eloquence. She says not what she thinks, but what she wishes you to hear. You must remember, this is no second-rate sorceress. sorceress. This is a person who breaks bread with the rules of the North, and who most recently has been working with an Elfgardian Emperor himself. Familiar with courts the world over, over... She possesses an ability to manipulate that even the williest diplomat would envy. Yennefer displayed an unhealthy interest in the side of the cataclysm we are striving to study. I have not given her permission to go near it, but I caution you to keep your eyes and ears open all the same. The sorceress from Vengerberg is a stubborn and effective manipulator. I know that in the past, her and Cross paths crossed. I suspect that she will wish to use this old friendship for some ulterior purpose. What is that is exactly, I will try to determine. Once I do, I will inform you in separate letter. May the power be with you, brother Spermian. Hmm. Or she's not... brazen manipulator. <laughs> the shameless schemer. He's not very fond of her. Seems Ermian has real tobacco brought in. Tales of the Wild Skelliger's Hunt. Tales about the Wild Hunt. The island folk of Skellige, like many nations of the Nord, hold a series of beliefs about the Wild Hunt as recorded in legends, myths, and fables. This horrifying phenomenon is said to herald the coming of war and misfortune, characteristic of their tales and distinguishing them from their continental versions, is that the islanders imagine the Wild Hunt not as a cavalcade of rats galloping across the night sky, but as a ghostly longship. The vessel called the Nagalfar is said to be built of the claws of dead men. For this very reason, superstitious Skelligers 
remove the nails of their dead expressly to prevent them from being used to fortify this ghastly ship. In many legends, the Nagulfar sails out of Morhog, the land of chaos. The islanders believe the wraiths sail on a longship built of the claws of dead men. Very interesting. All right, what's this? Mead. Dwarven triple mead. The corpse of Novigrad. For light reading too. The corpse of Novigrad by Sasha Hardy. Lots of reading today. Alexander Ho walked down the long corridor, delighted that the sounds of debauchery pouring out of the rooms drowned out the sound of his footsteps. The long neglected brothel floor creaked and moaned, as though the wood regretted being witness to the lecherous scenes fed to it by this house of ill repute standing in the very center of the pride of the northern cities. Ho had been generously remunerated for this visit by the wife of a silk merchant. She had long suspected her husband of dabbling with loose women during his working hours. The case it seemed simple enough, banal even, a cheating husband. How many similar affairs had he unraveled? The worst was that his employers never truly wanted him to bring in refutable proof of their husband's guilt. On the contrary, in their heart of hearts, they always hoped his investigations would prove their husband's model citizens and their suspicions wholly unfounded. This time, it truly did turn out that the woman's husband was no whoremonger, despite the fact that his trail led Alexander to a place in which freshly pleasures were bought and sold. The door in front of which he stopped, following the instructions he had received from the gnome at the entrance, had a small plaque with the number 16 on it. Unlike the other rooms, this one was enveloped, enveloped in an unsettling calm. Ho turned the doorknob and pushed the door open, and what he saw behind it far exceeded his worst expectations. What is this cliffhanger? Huh? Not fair. Laboratory worthy of an imperial alchemist. What's it been brewing here? A goat carved out of linden wood, signed to Uncle Ermion. Little Siri's handiwork. That's what she called him when he was her tutor. Aww. A sword in a stone. Things begging me to pull it out. King Arthur reference? It's not in the stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Embarrassing. What's this? Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. A mug of mead? How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Huh. Seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? Oh, okay. Ermion enjoys jests achieved at the expense of others. I have a sneaking suspicion the mask will be in here. Hold on, let me explore Look at more. this. A detailed map of the Northern Kingdoms. Even shows spheres of influence over the ages. Out of date. <laughs> Child here. skull. I found the mask. Hold on, hold on. I'm looking around. Ermion's wand. He's one of the few druids to use one. Like a traditional one, huh? Pinecone. Didn't expect this. A large female. Pinecones have gender. You live, you learn. Okay, where are we at? Why is it so dark here? Gotta put some more candles. Oh, okay. We found some dungeon. Hopefully no more tripping with some mushrooms. This is it. Oh, she just We've took it. Got it. We must return to the feast quickly before. Careful now. Oh my God! Is the golem? And it doesn't have a head. That's all right. We, ouch! We got it. 
She's helping. That's all that matters. Oh. Sometimes some of my companions will not help at all. There we are. Perfect. What do we got? Some stuff. Hear that? Smelled it. Oh god, Gas. no. Great still closed. Gotta think of something quick. Uh, uh, oh my god, what do we do? There, what do we, what do I, what do, there's nothing I can even think of. Uh, oh my god. The damn druid will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something, quickly. First thing to come to your mind. Are we gonna choke and die? <laughs> Hold on tight. Oh. I guess that was a wrong choice. He didn't even say anything. Nice. At least everyone's drunk, so no one cares. <laughs> Normal occurrence when you drink too much. <clears throat> I heed my words. There is no greater act of valor than to fight a beast cursed by men and gods. No greater deed than that done to serve the goddess. Okay. Words of uncommon beauty. We thank you. We will take them to heart. But now, let's begin. Finally. <laughs> we have seen Bran off to the beyond must now choose his successor. A king must be wise. A king must command respect. A king must have bollocks. <laughs> With no lack of men like that. Let those who feel worthy of the throne of Skellige step forth. son could not be here this day. Behold his axe. Behold his will. Hey, hey. She has the right. She can do that. Be the best man. A woman win. What's got into her? She's your daughter, is she not? Now I know why she said she'll sail to speak her of. Ah, children. The older they grow, the more trouble they are. Come with me. All the more essential we talk now. How was it, Geralt, when Ciri was nearing womanhood? <laughs> I remember well her nan, her mother, what they were like. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Ciri was impossible to control, no telling her what to do. Had to have things her own way almost always. Why do you ask? No specific reason. She and Ceres, they're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. Yennefer claims Ciri's in trouble, and you seek her. That's right. If you require aid, gold, ships, anything, 
Merely say the word. I'll give you all I can. Uh -huh. And I know the last lives. I'm sure of it. When the blood of Rhiannon's daughters is shed, the sea grows white with fury. I'd mark such a storm. Hmm. We need. We do need help with Ermion. He kind of sus. Need your help. Siri probably came here to Skellige. And very likely caused the cataclysm along the coast. The site upon which the druids focus so intensely now. A site Ermion refuses to let us explore. Specifically, he won't let me explore it. We fought. We're not friendly now. Don't concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages. But Ermion's heart is in the right place. Am I right to assume he does not know you seek Siri? It's of no concern to him. As I thought. At any rate, Art Skellig's my isle. You have my permission to investigate as you see fit. Thank you. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. Anvil, tell the druid I must speak to him at the usual spot. I have one more matter to broach. My children. You remember Yalma? Well, he swore an oath to kill the giant of Unvik. Set off and has yet to return. But as Ceres announced, that she's to set off on an adventure of her own. Got it in her head that Udelric is not mad, but cursed. Mm. You don't want to be a king yourself? Can't help wondering. Got no plans to vie for the crown yourself? Think a good number of the Jarls would support you. A good number? Those opposed would be fierce, rabid. Madman Lugas would sooner see an elf <laughs> guardian on the throne. Besides, a man should know when to step aside. Hand the tiller to the youth among us. I suppose. Okay, we thought all giants died. Giants? They've been extinct for ages. Anyone actually seen the one on Undvik? Aye, dozens of refugees have. The giant drove everyone off the isle. I've welcomed what remains of Clan Tordorach here on Ardskelleg. I heard a rumor that an unnatural frost gripped Undvik before the giant appeared. It's true. At any rate, Yalmor decided to kill the giant and give the isle back to its people. A deed worthy of a king, he believes. My son gathered a hearty crew at the new port. They were to sail to Unvik, then travel on foot to Oskar, the village. But that many lads should have killed the giant long ago. Thus, I thought to ask you. You should start at the new port. Ask around. Hjalmar might have told someone there his plans. There is intent to lift the Dalric's curse. Take it Ceres wants to lift the curse. There's no curse to speak of. Ceres has decided she must match Yalmar and sort out a deed worthy of a queen. Think she might need my help? You did plan to ask me for it. Why? The thing is, I don't trust Udalric further than I can spit. <laughs> Ceres won't listen to me, or her brother. Yet confronted by a professional who will explain why she's mistaken, she just might come to her senses. So, yes, I ask that you explain things to her and bring her back. Sure, we'll help your children. If either Yalmar or Ceres need help. I thank you. Now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. We must determine if Siri is still on Ardskellig. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Head south. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the shore of the bay. A successful feast on all counts, Krah. I will see you later. So in my first playthrough, I supported Ceres. I think in this one we'll choose the son. What's his name? What's his name? Hjalmar. I think it would be. Last night was. It would be fair to see a different outcome or something. All right, let's go meet with the Yennefer. 
Let's let's investigate the side, and here is already Yennefer and the druids. Mad, I say. Oh my god. Have you any idea what could happen if it is used? Any idea of the consequences? No, but neither do you. So stop panicking. <laughs> Can hear you two clear on the other side of the island. Good. May all Skellige know, Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief. Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive and all the isles with us. Uh, what are you talking about? She did not tell us about that. Barry, what are you talking about? She's not told you? Might have expected as much. The myth is that Orborus created the mask and the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Orborus made the mask which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. Interesting, how'd you get it? Where do you get this mask? Sailors from Clan Dimmon pulled it from the sea, near the Njord Trench. Yeah, but how can you be sure this is Urbaras's mask? Its appearance is exactly as described in the myths. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. <laughs> oh my god. Well, she did it for Siri, kind of, but... On the one hand, a theft. On the other, Ciri's life. I also care deeply for the girl. I proposed a series of other methods. Yennefer refused to listen. She claimed they would take too long. Whereas she wants, she needs immediate results. She has always been hot-headed. True. At least this time she's got a valid reason for it. Never mind that she might bring... Uh-oh. What? What was that? Did she go and use it? No. Jennifer's used the mask. Oh boy. We must neutralize the mask. Mutant power. Oh boy. I mean, she really does not care about what happens to the isles and all the people. Oh boy, Yennefer, oh boy. Great. Oh, what the heck are these? Oh my god, you're gonna kill me. <gasps> What was that? Unicorns. Damn it, Yen. I saw the foglets. I meant how'd they get here. The power of the mask summoned them. Ermians is pretty mad with you, Yennefer. Ermian says the mask might cause a natural disaster. Fortunate he's here then. He can jump right in, try to tame it. Realize he won't let this pass. Oh, I'll survive somehow. Oh my god. What now? The mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. 
I'm gonna read my mind again. Gonna read my mind again? You object? Yes. Let's object. Let's get angry. <laughs> you know I don't like it. Let it go. I just want to see what happened. Besides, you know there are things I'd rather not know about you. Let's go. Already found the first spot. You have new quest items. Okay. Let's see. Alright. What's this? Foglet 2. Let's read about Foglets. Where are they? If night ever catches you in the swamp, stay put and wait for dawn, even if it means standing waist-deep in water with leeches crawling down your trousers. Most important of all, if you see a light in the fog, never, and I mean never, go towards it. Join a strut guide. Fog is a traveler's foe. In the forest, it can make one lose one's way. At sea, it can send one sailing into the rocks. Yet such dangers are nothing compared to the monsters known as foglets, which sometimes lurk within it. These creatures have powerful arms and claws, like Zarykanian kindrels, uh, yet what makes them truly dangerous is their mastery of deception, beguilement, and disorientation. Many times they need not attack at all, instead simply driving their prey to madness or into boggy marshlands, after which they wait patiently for it to drown in the muddy waters. Sweet. This is the spot. Put on the mask. Any instructions? Keep it on until we've seen everything. And don't stray far. Telepathy is limited in range. Okay. What's that? A portal? Two people emerged from it. The woman was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved. Like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come. Let's find the next spot. All right. I learned this at Brenna. Oh my god, where is the thing? Ow. What was that? Hmm. A magic explosion of some sort. So powerful that even the echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. But Siri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. Hmm. Place is creepy. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of surviving. I know the truth. But don't worry. Siri can take care of this. Hard running around in heels and the mud. Someone chased Siri. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to Vela. Any chance you can figure out where Siri's companion fled to? His portal's got to be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. So she was first here, not first in Novigrad, then in Skellige, then in Velen? Is that... Hmm, interesting. Well, ready? Use the mask. Nice fight. One repelled the other with powerful magic, then fled through a portal. A mage? Most likely. Hmm. It's Siri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Siri's got a powerful ally. The mage who was with Siri fled too. Know where? Hmm. His trace path leads to Velen as well. But the target coordinates of his portal differ from those of Siri's. The explosion must have disrupted his teleportation. Hmm. <laughs> 
ran into Kira Metz in Velen. Coincidence, maybe, but she claimed a mage came to her looking for Ciri. Be surprised if it wasn't the same one. Whoever he is, he grows more interesting by the minute. Well, let's see where the attacker landed. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? <laughs> Look at what you brought down on us. If someone's death were to help you find Ciri, would you start making human sacrifices as well? I don't know. I don't know. Nothing happened. So, yeah. Relax. Storms died down. You've clearly got things under control. For now. But who knows what will be a week or two on? Stop panicking. Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You. You I'll deal with later. <laughs> so? We did learn something, so that was... That was, uh... I mean... Justified, I guess? But I wonder if we didn't steal a mask. Was there an option, or would Yennefer really go and do it without Geralt? We think a powerful curse was cast here. Mm. Plausible. Considering what happened to the wood, do you know upon whom? Not yet, but we know Ciri was here. She stepped out of a portal. A mage was with her. Someone chased them. They fought. Ciri was wounded, but managed to escape. Where to? Velen, probably. The mage opened a portal for her, then he fought her attacker. Yes? Is that it? Got a feeling we've found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. Alright, let's see. What if we went to Skellige first? Something's under that tree. Can you... I can. The, I mean, our level was too yeah, low. <laughs> Oops. clean. No blood, no sword nicks. Ciri's friend must have... What do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. Though the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a rider of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? The Wild Hunt wants her because of the Elder Blood. Elder Blood flows in Siri's veins. Uh, it is true she can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Duran, which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that truly be so important? Siri's exceptional. She travels between places here and other worlds. Space is no obstacle for her. Huh? Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her. You said the Wild Hunt was on Hindersfjall? Speaking of the hunt, mentioned it appeared on Hindersfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the cataclysm struck here on Ard Skellig. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders said the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Sure, we'll see you there. Mm hmm See you there. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. All right. Well, this is where we're going to stop for today. Well, we finally made it to Skellige, so I'm very excited to continue our adventures. We learned a little bit about more about Ciri, and in the next episode, we shall continue from there. 
And depending on how long it will take, we'll probably start the quest where we help one of the Crux children, which I'll probably do um, the sun first. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun and I shall see you next time. Bye bye.